father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? We gather here today to honor the life and legacy of a remarkable man, Nicholas Mensah, affectionately known as Papa Nicholas. His birth, education, and spiritual life. Nicholas Mensah, affectionately known as Uncle Nico, was born on June 22nd. 1950, in Osuki, Accra. He was baptized as a PCD Timapano Memorial Church, Abukoki, which was established by Presbyterian Basel Mission from Switzerland, laying the foundation for his strong religious upbringing. This way, after completing middle school at Abukoki, Salem, which was established by the Presbyterian Basel Mission of Nico and Bart on his professional journey. He initially found employment at Ghana and William Products in Temo, marking the beginning of his career. Inspired by two seamen he met, Uncle Nico decided to pursue a career at sea. He left his job at DTMC and underwent training with the Black Star Line, eventually becoming both a steward and a deck man. In 1975, Nico began his career as an able-bodied seaman on a ship in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. He then joined another ship Papa Wolf, Nigeria, which traversed routes from Africa to Europe and North and South America. After several months at sea, Uncle Nico returned to Ghana and soon embarked on another journey. <coughs> he traveled to Italy in February 1978, where he joined a ship navigating routes from Africa to the Middle East. His travels took him to France and Antwerp, Berlin, where he served on an international ship. However, in March 1979, while docked in Bremen, Germany, Uncle Nico made the decision to leave life at sea behind and settle on land. Despite facing health challenges, including kidney failure, diagnosis, in 1980, Uncle Nico persevered. He settled in Hanover in 1984 after residing in Hamburg and Osnabrück, building a life for himself in the community. Family life. Uncle Nico's personal life was marked by love and family. He married twice and blessed with two sons, Andy. Maxwell. He brought him, who brought him great joy and fulfillment. He cherished his family deeply, guided by the love and values he instilled by his parents, Elizabeth Mensah Cote and Francis Agu Mensah, along with his siblings, achievements, Kabla, Emily Akafia, and Robert Mensah. Old age. In 1996, Uncle Nico retired from active employment, but his commitment to serve to, to, to service the community, community remained steadfast. Guided by his strong religious beliefs, he dedicated himself to the Victory Presbyterian Church in Hanover and contributed to community initiatives whenever possible. Nicholas Mensah. Uncle Nico lived a life marked by resilience, determination, and service <coughs> to others. Though he may have left the sea behind, his legacy of strength 
and compassion who continued in this path all who knew him. Uncle Nico, rest in peace. Yahweh will be back. Yahweh!
I know that his minister, Reverend Eunice, will, will attest to that. And so, as we thank God, I also want to send condolences. Words cannot send enough condolences to the wife and to the children and the family and the church on the loss of our father and friend. But what we want to say, may his gentle soul rest in the perfect bosom of the Lord. Amen.
For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God to take unto himself you, as departed from us, we therefore commit your body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, we believe in the end. The Lord Jesus, as he appears in heaven, and those who have the privilege of living, will meet him though. But first, the Bible says the dead will rise from their graves, those who have lived their lives for the Lord. And they will meet the Lord Jesus in the sky. And all those who have the privilege of living will now join him. Since we have this hope, let us continue to stand firm and hold on firm to our faith, trusting that the good Lord who gave us this earth and brought us here in the end will rest us if he wishes at whatever time in point. So prepare our hearts and get ready to settle in the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And since we have this hope, we will continue to pray that the Lord will sustain us. Let us pray. Guide me, O oh my great Jehovah, pilgrims through the Babylon. I am weak, O oh Madame, I see, hold me with thy power, continue to thank you heavenly father for the very gift of life to every one of us and most importantly for the gift given to our brother our friend husband <coughs> son and member our colleague we thank you for the many good things that you did through him we thank you for the smiles and the joy happiness you brought to so many other people through him we thank you, O oh God, for the manifold goodies that you bestowed on all of us because of our brother who we are seeing of today. As we continue to thank you, we humbly pray that you receive his soul. Rest him well in your bosom till we meet again. In the same way, O oh Lord, we pray for the family, we pray for the wife, we pray for the children. We pray for grandchildren if they are some. We pray for all others, colleagues and friends, all of us, the church. Our burdens are enormous, but you are the only one who can lift them up. We need rest from all the troubles of this earth, and you are the only one who can offer. So Lord, we cry unto you to grant us rest of every trouble, pain, and agony that we have, because you have given us the assurance. Continue to hold our hands. Let us follow your leading. Go with us. For if you leave ourselves to our own selves, we are doomed. But with you, we know we will get there. So Lord, we have this hope in you that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And so we give you praise as we trust you. And together, all of us, we pray in the words of the Lord as he taught his disciples, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust us. Not in temptation, but leave at us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So before we continue, the few persons who want to at least put a little soil, especially the close family who are here, can quickly do that 
and then we be, give the benediction and leave the rest. Nicolaus Mensa, our beloved member, may God keep you in peace. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Family members, brothers, is there anybody? <coughs> Amen. Nicholas, this is not what you like to see. You like our sense to reject this reality. Your human kindness was beyond boundaries. I never came to your house whereby I didn't eat farmers' essence with you. If there's nothing, we go out and eat chops away at a Chinese restaurant. When you are so rested in perfect peace, tell me for the repose and pay. Zozole, no tissue for me. Zozole, no tissue for me. You are in freedom. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, rest in perfect peace. <laughs> This is a friend who came all away from London to see his family. Can somebody get ready to pick the flowers, a few of them up for us, at least? You show us and then we'll... Give us the name. No, just there. Just help us. Yes, just mention, just, just show us. Mm. From your Christine. Yeah. From your Christine. Okay, thank you. Put it down. Uh, you, you can put it down somewhere and then get the next one. You're free to enjoy your food with the water. I mean, you and him kind. The best kind of water, you're free to move. 
That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Why you be papa? Why you be car? 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 Amen. All right, let's let's receive the benediction. And over my penny. A dog and a moi or boy hand over for a boy nipa be brave. Ne <laughs> Babi, Ebra or Manoso. I said, You'll see here, Manoso, or Munsia, almost to see near the mine cinema. The weather, Baba, this is a good one. Yeah, how also, Leah? We bless your holy name for how far you have brought us and for your faithfulness as we continue to give you thanks. As we depart from this place, we trust in your faithfulness to go with us. We trust that you lead us, prepare us, you save us from all troubles, and most importantly, prepare a sound place of rest for us, so that when we have all finished with our work, we will find a place in your bosom to rest. And so let your grace continue to go with us. And let your faithfulness be with us. When you join Jesus Christ to draw more, can we change our numbers some more? Can we make our own number more? Can we fear in sin men like that? Amen. Amen. So, family, we hand over the rest. Thank you very much.